For years, Oumuamua was a name whispered in science halls with a mix of awe and unease. First seen in 2017, this wanderer from the stars stunned astronomers with its speed, its form, and above all, its origin. Unlike anything ever found in our solar neighborhood, it refused to act like a comet or asteroid. It broke the rules. It sped up while leaving, showed no glowing tail, and spun in a way that shattered what we thought we knew about space debris. And then, as suddenly as it came, it vanished, leaving behind a storm of theories, from frozen shard to alien probe. Now, after years of silence, the impossible has happened. NASA has confirmed Oumuamua sent back a signal so unlikely, so unexplainable, that scientists across the globe are struck still. What could it mean? Where did it come from? And, most haunting of all, who or what sent it? When the Pan Stars Observatory in Hawaii first caught Oumuamua slicing through the sky, no one was prepared for what they saw. It was fast, far faster than any comet we know, and its path was no closed loop around the sun. Instead, it cut through the solar system on a one-way hyperbolic path, proof it came from far beyond, never to return. Its shape only deepened the mystery, long and thin like a cigar, or perhaps flat and wide like a pancake, depending on the model. It tumbled in chaotic rotation, making its brightness flicker wildly. No asteroid or comet had ever shown this same mix of speed, shape, and motion. From the start, Oumuamua refused to play by nature's script. Strangest of all, as it left, it seemed to accelerate, without tail, without engine, no trace of escaping gas, a cosmic paradox, one that has now returned. After it slipped beyond our telescopes, most assumed the mystery was over. Papers were written, debates cooled, and the public moved on. But in classified rooms, eyes stayed fixed. From time to time, deep space arrays were tuned to where Oumuamua would be now, billions of kilometers away. Almost always nothing. Until now. Days ago, a faint pulse came from deep space on a frequency no human craft uses. The pattern? Deliberate, repeating tones followed by a structured sequence unlike anything in nature. No satellites nearby, no interference, and the source? Exactly where Oumuamua should be had it kept its course. It was as if, after years of silence, it had turned its attention back towards us, not drifting, listening, speaking. Once confirmed, the signal was locked, copied, and sent to a tight circle of cryptographers, astrophysicists, and linguists under NASA's highest security. What they found was astonishing. It wasn't random sound. It carried embedded code, patterns seen in both maths and biology. Segments looked like prime sequences. Others echoed waveforms of the human brain. Even more unsettling, brief modulations mirrored images from the golden record humanity sent on Voyager decades ago. This was no accident. This was intent. Whoever sent it seemed to understand us and to answer. Further decoding revealed shifts that matched Oumuamua's own rotation, as if the object itself was the transmitter, spinning to weave its message into the dark. A new thought spread among the team. It was never just a rock. It could be a beacon. Or a scout. With the leak of the signal, debate erupted. Some warned against wishful thinking, against seeing patterns that weren't there. Others said the evidence was overwhelming. Nature doesn't send mathematical signals that mimic brainwaves and schematics. If Oumuamua is part of something greater, then we have just received a message from beyond. And it might not be a greeting. Some now think its acceleration was no drift, but a move to evade. Others caution that the signal's timing, years after it left, suggests we were first watched, then judged, and only now acknowledged. The scientific world stands on a knife's edge, unsure whether to call this first contact or the opening to something far darker. A new theory is taking root, 
one that shadows all we thought we knew about Oumuamua. It suggests the object was never meant to be seen. Some propose its tumbling spin and odd bursts of speed were not random at all, but camouflage. By posing as a mindless rock, releasing no signal until far beyond our grasp, it could have been quietly gathering data. Picture an interstellar drone, built to slip unseen to alien systems, recording planets, atmospheres, stray radio waves, even the signature of cities. Once certain of intelligent life, it would retreat, transmit home, and vanish. Chilling as it sounds, this matches Oumuamua's timing and why its signal came only after it was gone. Buried in that signal was one of the most disturbing finds, a warped echo of NASA's 1977 golden record. Deep within, engineers uncovered a distorted imitation of the hello from the children of planet Earth greeting, dropped in pitch, warped in rhythm, like a voice passed through a foreign mouth. When compared to the original, the match was undeniable. Yet this was no simple replay. It was an answer. The tones mirrored the golden record's structure, but were rearranged, threaded with new pulses absent from the source. Had Oumuamua intercepted Voyager's call? Or had someone else, far away, already done so? If this was a reply, then we are not merely observed. We are engaged. Before that could sink in, another find sent tension spiking. NASA's IRIS and JWST arrays caught a faint heat trace moving in a mirrored path to Oumuamua, smaller, faster, still unseen in visible light. Some call it the observer, others a retrieval craft or a relay. Whatever it is, its course is precise, its heat whisper-thin, and it appeared at the same moment the signal arrived. The focus is no longer just Oumuamua. It may be part of a wider web now beginning to show itself. While the public reels, major agencies have gone silent. Sources within NASA and ESA speak of instant data lockdowns. Researchers vanish from public view. Social media scrubbed. Journalists' requests bounce back under national security law. Recent telescope data is gone, replaced by placeholders as if those tasked to reveal the unknown have been ordered to bury it. Such coordinated silence is rare. History says it never comes without cause. In the transmission's final packets, analysts found a cluster of numbers. At first, noise, but through pattern algorithms, they bloomed into spatial coordinates, a point in the outer solar system once thought empty. More unsettling, it aligns with a long-standing gap in readings from probes like Voyager and New Horizons, a blind spot, engineered or simply ignored, until now. Speculation runs wild, a rendezvous point, a dormant station or worse. Space agencies are watching it closely, though none will speak. Why would a wanderer from beyond send coordinates to our own backyard? Is something waiting? or on its way. And then, the cipher. A mathematical lattice buried in the signal, deliberate and self-referential. Cryptographers call it a prime matrix, a design that unfolds like a puzzle, layer after layer, mirroring logic found only in advanced AI or quantum code. Some see it as a test for any mind advanced enough to break it, Others warn it is a lock we may not want to open. Umuamua entered in silence, slipped past like a ghost, and left a message no one can fully grasp. It feels less like a farewell than a mirror asking us to face what we truly are and what else might be out here. The coordinates, the cipher, the impossible path all whisper the same truth. This was never a rock, it was a probe, a scout, a messenger, and now the message has been heard. The question is, was it meant for us, or did we overhear something between minds far greater? 
if this signal was only the first line, the rest of the story may not be peace. For now, the world waits, not for another call, but for an answer.